Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your June 2018 monthly reading. This is for Gemini. If this resonates with you, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you click the like button. I am trying to get my likes up. This is for Gemini. If this doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon rising and your Venus sign. This will not resonate with every Gemini out there. If you would like a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. This is for Gemini for June 2018 for Gemini. Okay, so there's this unexpected communication at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Swords, Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It came in fast. It may have been stressful, but it gave clarity to the situation, okay? So it was like, expect the unexpected. This was an unexpected thing that, um, unexpected communication Maybe you found out something unexpectedly here, okay? Because here we have this partnership, right? Maybe it's somebody that you um, have worked with. This could be a third-party situation that you were that you have found out about. Some kind of information came your way in regards to a partnership here. Um, it could, it could very well have been in regards to another person involved in a situation. Here we have the three of pentacles, okay? Earth, energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And then what is uh, crossing this is the sun, right? So this is enlightenment. So whatever this um, fast-moving communication, this unexpected communication when that came in, it really shed light on this partnership, possibly even a third party here, okay? So it, this is enlightenment. This is, you're seeing everything clearly now, okay? At the root of the reading was this brand new beginning in love, okay? Maybe you found out, you know, somebody was married or, or something along those lines, but this is... Um, at the root of the reading, Ace of Cups, Water, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this was a whole, you know, brand new start in love, whether it was someone that you know or somebody that you have just met, okay? And it was very emotional and your emotions were flowing here, okay? Because in the recent past was the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So the wheel turned, things changed, Things changed in this situation. And um, this could be, you know, like a karmic situation here. Or maybe a karmic lesson for you or the other person that's involved. Okay. In the near future, we have this slow moving communication, right? After this fast moving information came to you and enlightened you and made you see things very clearly in regards to this partnership, possible third party, right? Then there's this slow moving message, this slow moving opportunity here with the page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So uh, this is going to take some time to come in, right? Um, but it's it's coming this this opportunity this message is coming but it's going to and like I said it's third party I see three three I see somebody being left out in the cold here um it's this loss this is the best possible outcome a heartbreak a loss you know you had a lot of hope in this but um there's heartbreak here 
This is the Three of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So like this message comes in and takes forever, but it's like the damage has already been done because this is you in this situation. You feel left out in the cold. You feel like um, alone in this Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You um, feel, you know, this heartbreak and now you are just withering this storm, you know, but you are not truly alone here. Okay, see? See how beat down those people are? But they are together. So you do have some support here. So don't, don't um, forget that. All right? What's coming towards you? And I think it's coming with this message, but it may be just a little bit too, too late for you. Okay. Um, is this Ace of Wands? So this slow moving communication, this slow moving um, message, whoever is sending this is wanting this um, brand new passionate beginning, but you just might tell them that it's a little too late now, you know? This is the Ace of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is um, very passionate, very sexually charged, okay? This is a lot of passionate communication as well coming towards you. In your hopes and your fears, you fear that this is it. And maybe you're hoping that this is just done, Okay, however it resonates with you. But um, this has been very painful for you, clearly. This is the Ten of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, you feel betrayed um, and you're afraid of this betrayal. And it's like you don't want it to end, but maybe you're hoping that you're strong enough to let it end, if that makes sense, because the um, overall outcome of this is the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands, um, as an energy, is she's getting her confidence back. She's stepping into her power. As a person, male or female, she's very passionate, very creative, very... Um, passionate about what she does. She may be an, her own business owner, an entrepreneur type. Okay. Um, but this is, you know, you stepping into your power now. What is that one country song? Oh God, what is it? Since I'm down on my knees, I'm not singing, but that's what's that, what it puts me in mind. Of, oh, I can't remember it. Some blonde chick. And, you know, it's like the story is like, you know, she's in this third party situation and then she's down on her knees begging him to stay. And then she gets up off of her knees and now she's like, forget it. You know, I'm too powerful now and I'm moving on kind of a thing. That's what that is. Sugarland. Is it Sugarland? Something. Um. Oh, what is it? What's the name of it? You guys are going to have to tell me. I can't remember. I know what somebody out there knows what I'm talking about, but that is the story that's going on here. Like you started this whole brand new relationship thing, like the wheel turns, you know, and it was amazing. You thought it was meant to be and did it and all that. And, you know, it, it turns out maybe it was a karmic lesson, maybe for you, maybe for the other person involved here. But this was a, a whole brand new beginning in love. And then all of a sudden, right, this information unexpectedly came to you and you were enlightened and you see things very clearly in regards to a third party situation. And this person was still going to reach out to you, but the damage is done. The damage is done. And you feel left out in the cold. You feel alone and you're battling this storm here. And I think they're still going to be trying to come in to start this sexual, passionate new beginning here. But, you know, we have this betrayal. And, and it's not, it's not, it's, it's very painful here. 
But here in the end, you're getting your power back. It's just like that song. You're getting your power back. You're getting your confidence back. And you might just say, mm, I don't I don't think so. The damage is done. I see this for what it is kind of a thing. All right. So let's clarify that Queen of Wands. Please clarify the Queen of Wands. I don't listen to a lot of country, but I really like that song. I haven't heard it in years and years and years. Please clarify the Queen of Wands for Gemini. Right. So now you're going to be focusing on yourself. Okay. Check out the bottom of the deck. You're walking away. You're walking away from something that does not emotionally fulfill you. All right. Water energy at the bottom of the deck. And then to clarify, honey, you got queens all over the place. Strong queens, okay? To clarify, and this may very well be somebody you work with because we have the Three of Pentacles here and then we have this Queen of Pentacles, okay? This may be like a workplace situation going down. But this person is going to be focused on her money, her career, herself, plain and simple. You got your confidence back and you are going to just continue on doing your thing and Counting them coins, right? Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that's what I got for you, Gemini. Let's see what the Romance Angels has to say about it. This is for Gemini for June. Twenty eighteen for Gemini. June 2018 for Gemini. Yeah, there is a lot of attraction here between you and this person. Okay? A lot of attraction. And the two of you may be very different from each other. You may be very, very different from each other, but the fact is, you know... <sighs> this happened... This information came about and you see things now for what they really are. And in the end, you're going to be standing strong. You're going to be stepping back into your power. You're going to be fiercely independent and very confident in this situation. Very confident. So that's what we have for you, Gemini. <laughs> um, not the best of readings, but in the end, I mean, I think you're going to come out... Um, you know, getting off, uh, getting back up from your knees, kind, you know, just like the song says. So give that a listen. Oh, my God, I haven't heard that in years and years. Um, if you want a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. If uh, keep an eye out for the Love, Lust, Your Loss coming on Friday. And then we're going to get the How Do They Feel About You series out next week. So keep an eye out for that. And you all have a great week and take good care of yourselves. God bless.